Thank you. First of all, I would like to pay all my high respect to teachers, Paul Gentiers, the general directors of Midpool International School, notable judges, our beloved teachers, ladies and gentlemen who are present here. Good evening. Well, my name is Ilums Parrot. Today is such a great honor for me to be here to participate in public speaking contest. With this opportunity, I'm come here to share my solution. and following topic is mindset. But let me tell you about my culture Jordan first. He said that he missed 900 shots, lost almost 300 games. He fell over and over, but he had a mindset to continue and get better. Now he become the greatest player of all the time. So what is mindset? In order to make you more understand, please allow me to explain up a word myself first. Mindset is a word describe our understanding, thinking, individual belief of people. There are two types of mindset. One, a gross mindset, and two, a first mindset. A gross mindset invests a body they believe they can learn to be good, and they can learn to be people, and they can learn to be better. They're not afraid of challenges. They continue when things get hard. They know that they have to put a thought in order to learn. They learn from criticize, also inspired by people who do well. My culture and have this race. So the person with a gross mindset is The Rock Johnson. He was cut off from Canadian football on his career. He couldn't quit, but he worked very hard, faced many challenges. Now, he is a super, super famous movie star. Do you know professional Scott who coach ball that give a 100% of thought in practices? They want people with a gross mindset. What they don't want is people who think already good enough. These people have a first mindset. A first mindset is the opposite of a gross mindset. They can't learn, they're afraid of challenges, they give up and get defensive easily. They sleep by people who do well and also feel criticized when given feedback. Let me tell you a story. Mars always been hard subject for me, and even now I'm still challenging. I remember when I was in Grace Wayne, I was really bad at math. I can't, I can't do exercise math, I memorize solution, I met my own receipt. Even my teacher said, I'm silly. After that, negative thought came into my mind that you can't do anything, you're shocked. Do you know, while I was exam, I felt a tear coming down my face in front of my teachers and my friends. I can't control my emotion. I want to know that why I'm feeling this way. But in these two years, in grade 9 and grade 10, I was able to answer the question. I warned myself. I learned what growth and first mindset are. I learned to change my first mindset into a growth mindset. I also believe that we can change our first mindset into a gross mindset. Well, maybe not success like my culture, but I'm success in my own way. I read a book called Mindset by Carol Dweck, a professor and professional of psychology who came up with the idea of a gross mindset and a first mindset. Her book told me that I'm not the only one who have a first mindset and changing our mindset is not uncommon, but changing our mindset is a wonderful one. Obviously, through this interpretation, we can conclude that our mindset is a factor in our lives. So, Sorry, and our lives. So study between gross mindset and first mindset will be one thing that can help you to achieve your success. Remember that first mindset will lead you to be a negative person. For many of you who are out there who may have a first mindset, please know that if I can do it, you either can do it. You can change your first mindset into a gross mindset according to your work hard. And every day I got better than the day before because that's why I said that I win myself. And because I'm here in front of you today, finally, I would like to sincerely and appreciate for your attention to my presentation. Thank you. First of all, I would like to pay my highest respect to our teachers, honorable judges, and all beloved students who are present here. Good evening. My name is Cheng Hua. I'm 17 years old. I'm a student of Midpoom International School, come from level writing skill tick by teacher Londra. It is a great pleasure and honor for me to have a chance to stand here in public speaking context today to present you the topic they talk about, why this motivation. But before I go to our topic, let me define you a key word is motivation. According to dictionary, motivation which means the driving force for our vision, our willingness and our desire to achieve goal. Do you know motivation is something that everyone needs in daily life, indispensable? All the people of their destinations to achieve goals, and everywhere to get success, will have a setback. When you get setback, motivation is the first step that gives you the strength, correct you to try again, and teach you that. Feel less just only learning point, not something negative. Motivation increases your effort. Without motivation, you may feel lazy or stay in a sleeping mood in doing something. But when someone motivates you, you will change your habit and feel like doing something to be successful. It will build your self-confidence and it will fear due to it push you to do it anyways to correct us. You will realize that no matter how many times you get knocked down, if you keep getting back up, nothing can stop you to get success. You can get motivation from yourself, your parent, your teacher, your friend, or something around you. 
For example, I can stand here due to I am motivated by my teachers and my parents. It can do fair and build my self-confidence too. Looking back, without motivation, you cannot achieve anything. No goal setting, no struggle, especially no enjoyment in your daily life. As we all know in love each person, all they meet death causing, meet many problems, meet disappointed, etc. And it's all the reason that makes stress and reach to the prison for some people because it put much pressure on them. But after you start motivate yourself or someone motivate you, especially when you are motivated by your lover, it will make the process fun for you, make have things look easy to achieve, release all stress and make your world over the moon. In short, motivation is really important that people need in daily lives. It helps people to achieve goals and dreams, build self-confidence, increase your effort, and reduce fears and stress, and give all the people a better life. And finally, I would like to say to our teachers and everyone to listening to my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh To begin my presentation, I would like to pay my high respect to our principal of Mitupum International School. <laughs> to begin my presentation, I would like to pay my high respect to our principal of Mitupum International School, judges, teachers, and good evening everyone who participate here. Before getting to the topic, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stanley Xing. I'm from writing class touched by teacher Agent T. And today I'm so glad to stand a chance of giving a speech about students under pressure. Without further ado, let's get into the topic. Nowadays, students who live under pressure is getting increased from day to day. This happened because of the pressure that comes from parent expectation, the ambitious goal that they set for themselves, and also the society. First, why students got pressure caused from parent expectation? Well, the future of a child is the biggest concern to every parent. They want their children to be the best they can be. Also, the educational institute always look on the best and brightest students to maintain their reputation. Hence, some parents put too much pressure on their child to match up to the standard. However, the enormous pressure that put on students not only hinder their growth and learning, but also lead to increased stress and anxiety. Secondly, Every students have their own goal that they want to be and they want to have in the future. But why some students put too much pressure to achieve that goal? According to my research, this happened because of um, the students had the ambitious goal that they want to ha that they want to achieve, and um, sorry. So they might push themselves very hard and may not have enough time to. Um, to play or relax or exploring and potential interest. And that time with peers might be more, more um, competitive than fun and social. Moreover, they might become in rigidly focused on their goal um, because they're afraid that they can make it happen as they planned. And it will become the internalized, depressed, and stressed. Thirdly, the dep uh, dep uh, Pressure can also cause from the society. In high school, students need to sit within a group of students, uh, but sometimes the group of students become the reason for um, social pressure that influence their mind negatively. So, due to the social pressure, uh, due to the social pressure on student mind, they might become. Um, uh, they might become sorry due to the um, due to the pressure that cuts on uh, students' mind. They may face a depression that that motivate them to commit suicide, so suicide and um, take other negative actions. In short, pressure on students, pressure on um, pressure that comes from parents and the ambitious goal that they set for themselves and the society really affects to students' mind and emotion. So I think all the students should try to think optimistic because no one gonna blame on you about how you act or uh, what you have done, but just only you yourself who think you are good enough and then give yourself a space. 
and blame on yourself and only yourself who who allow the negative uh, influences um, affect your mind so be nice to yourself is the best choice that you should do so to the end of my presentation I would like to thank you to all everyone who uh, participate here and listening to my presentation thank you